Hi there. Well, my Lori here with Lori's Laptop Lifestyle and uh, all ready to do another little video. This one is going to be on the topic of um, what does it take to be successful and live good? Well, actually, this doesn't take a whole lot. You need to be consistent. Well, first of all, I think, what do you want? What do you want to achieve? Are, are you getting involved in Live Good simply because you love the product and the products have been doing you good and the products are at a very affordable price? If that's the reason you're in Live Good, that's good enough. But some people want a little bit more. They want to have the good savings and they would like to make some money on the side. Now, here's the goal. If you don't know how much money you want to make, how can you ever be satisfied that you've achieved it? And I think it's important that people know the difference between, oh, I just want to make a little bit of money, you know, just to pay for my product. Okay, that, that's good. Or I would like to make an extra $500 a month or another $2,000 a month. And the reason I'm going up here is I just lost a job that was paying me close to $4,000 a month. And my lifestyle was wrapped around that income. So now if I'm going to do something like I'm doing right now, uh, trying to build a business, uh, live good business, then I need to have a goal set at $4,000 a month. Because if I set it at $500, then, then what's going to happen is, what's going to happen is, I had to let somebody buy here. Uh, what's going to happen is, is that uh, the energy I put out and the focus that I put out will, of course, be for $500 a month. So the difference here is you have to make up your mind what you want to do. How much money do you want? Because more money requires more focus. It's as simple as that. You can't put in, you can't say you're gonna get on Facebook every day and, and on Snapchat or whatever those programs are called and you're going to do um, five minutes worth of uh, posting. I guess if you only wanna make $100 a month, five minutes of posting is just fine. But if you want to make $4,000 a month, then you're going to have to, to find the time during the day it doesn't matter whether you've got a full-time job. It doesn't matter, like in my case, where I'm having to stay at home and look after a very sick person. You need to find a time and put aside time where you can go on your different social media ch uh, uh, channels and post and in interact with people and um, connect with, with old friends. Uh, whatever the case may be, you need to start doing that. Otherwise, you're in a channel, you're in the program that's just sitting there and really it's doing nothing for you because you're not doing anything with it. Does that make sense? Okay, a lot of people think, well, it didn't work for me. Well, what did you do? Like, did you do anything? Did you, did you make the mistake that so many people make and sign up and then wait for people to come to you? they probably don't even know you're in. So you need to have made an effort to get the word out. Well, I don't know that many people. Well, guess what? Neither do I. I worked in camps most of my life. Uh, any friends that I had made over the years, they're long gone and moved on to, to making friends with other people that were around. Uh, I think in my whole entire life, I've got maybe three or four friends still, still left. And I say still left, that still associate with me on a regular basis because I, I've always been gone. So I've never been a friend that's been around, uh, available for everybody. So anyways, uh, that, that's a woo me one. <laughs> but you don't need all of those friends. And for, to, to, uh, makes it easier, of course. But you, there's people out there right now, this is where I'm getting the ideas from. There's people out there right now that are building huge businesses with Live Good and one of them, uh, his name is Eric. Apparently, according to his personal story, he was, um, he's a reformed alcoholic. He's had uh, nothing but a lot of trouble in his life. And he uh, 
he's an introvert. So he doesn't even like going out and meeting people. So how did he personally sign up? 300 and uh, I think he's I, I think he's at 385 people if he's not going out well he's doing it with videos like I'm doing right now now his are a lot better than mine don't, don't get me wrong here but the point is is that's what he's doing he's not going out on the street meeting these people face to face he's not uh, handing business cards out to anybody he's not um, uh, he's not going to social events he's an introvert He's staying home, but he's getting his face out there. He's getting his message out there. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm getting my 74 year old face out there and uh, trying to get the message that I'm, I'm involved with a laptop lifestyle. I'm trying desperately to build my business and get my brand out there using the YouTube. And, um, let's hope that, uh, it pays off. Let's hope that you guys out there go, well, let's see if we can get on board and give that old lady a boost. <laughs> Either way, I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, for now, that's the end of the topic because I'm going into 7-Eleven to get myself some coffee. I love their, what do they call it? Uh, not some kind of, oh, hazel, hazelnut coffee. I just love it. Anyways, that's where I'm going right now. So I'll talk to you guys later. And this is Mama Lori signing off with Lori's Laptop Lifestyle. You guys have an amazing day. Talk to you later. Oh, and there's there she is. Say bye, Sheba. Hi. <laughs> bye bye for now.